All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master, and today we're talking about are you ready to go flat rate? All right, we've all been there. You've been on hourly, salary, whatever, and either your experience has gotten to the point where the shop wants you to go flat rate, you're changing jobs, considering going to a shop that pays flat rate. Are you ready? Now, before everybody starts, you know, running in the comments, we'll get into a little bit of the pros and cons of going flat rate. So wait till the end of the video to comment. Going to a commission-based pay system can be a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. You're going from, I'm getting paid this much every week, no matter what, to, I don't know, it can be a little scary. Stuff you can do right now to see if you're ready to go flat rate. You need to check your efficiency. Now, that's gonna be sometimes difficult at a lot of shops because the shop doesn't let you access your efficiency reports if they even have them, stuff like that. But what you can do in your day-to-day -day life is you have information system, you know what a job pays. Let's just say XYZ job pays two hours. Put yourself on the clock, not in the literal sense of the word, but take out your phone, use a stopwatch feature, or just look at the time when you started or write it down and figure out uninterrupted how long that job took you to do. Now, if that job pays two hours, and it took you three, you're probably not ready for flat rate. But if that job pays two hours and it took you an hour and 30 minutes, an hour and 45, definitely a lot better. And you need to do that on several different types of jobs, not just on, you know, doing breaks, not just doing, you know, fluid services or stuff like that. You need to go through and go, okay, this water pump took this long, paid this much. I had 110% efficiency. I did this job. I lost my butt on it because whatever. Look at your overall efficiency. You need to do it a, for a couple weeks, actually. You need to write down every job you do, how long it took you, how much it paid. If your efficiency is not over 100%, you might not be ready for flat rate. Now, what do I mean by over 100% efficiency? The job pays two hours and you take two hours, that's 100% efficiency. You're right in line. Where you make money on flat rate is it takes you less time than it pays. Couple weeks, just write down every job you do. Don't worry about how many hours you bill. Unless you're going flat rate at that shop, then it might be concerning. We'll get into that in a minute, but focus on your overall efficiency. Make notes, write down, you know, never done one of these jobs before, you know, service information was incomplete or, you know, make yourself notes of why you lost time on that job. Analyze it for real, look at it objectively. Are you gonna make money on flat rate? The only way to make money on flat rate is to be efficient. If you're not currently being efficient, you're probably not gonna make money on flat rate. The reason I say track your individual hours and not your overall hours is because of the simple fact, let's say you're changing shops. You're going from being the lube guy, basic repairs to going to actually being a tech at a shop apples and oranges. You know, you go into a shop as a flat rate tech, putting you on the line, you're gonna do anything from, you know, ball joints to transmission swaps to whatever. A couple things, you don't know how really busy they are. It can affect your mind state if you're, if you're focused on the hours you're billing at the shop you're at now. You know, if you're sitting there looking at a shop and I'm going, oh, I'm only billing 30 hours. I, I, I was sweeping, you know, the rest of the time. Well, 
Don't focus on that if you're sh changing jobs. Look at your overall efficiency per job. Now we'll get into not, you know, being busy enough at a shop later on in the video, but look at your overall efficiency. You're there for eight hours, whatever, and you build eight hours, but you only work for five of them. Well, you're doing good. Now, if you're going from salary or hourly to flat rate at that shop and you're only billing 35 hours and they're wanting to switch you over to flat rate, you need to go, um, I'm going to need more cars, better tickets, something, because otherwise, you know, it might be a pay cut. So just some of the things to consider when you're looking at going to flat rate is if you're switching shops or if you're staying at a shop. I've done videos on looking for a new shop and I'll link those in the description so you can check those out looking for a new shop. Now let's talk about the real world being on flat rate. I know guys are going to be screaming oh, you can't make money on flat rate. Yeah you can. You can definitely make money on flat rate. You can make more than what you are in the shop for. It's only if you can be efficient and turn out work and there's enough work coming in the door. That's some big factors. You've got enough cars to bill 50, 60 hours. You know, if you're, it's noon and you only looked at one car, probably not a good thing. Some of the downsides of going from hourly salary to flat rate are you're to the whim of the business. You have a slow time, your paycheck goes down. If you wind up, you know, having a great week and then the next week you don't, you can't expect the same check every week. That's one of the downsides of flat rate is your check can do this. Now, sometimes it can do this. Sometimes it can do this. But for the most part, you're going to have highs and lows. Your highs may be, you know, 80 hours. Your lows may be 50. Depends on you. Depends on the shop. But you're going to vary on flat rate. There's no way around it. I know somebody's going to say it in the comments, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, put it out there. I think every starting technician coming out of tech school, coming on, you know, getting into this field should not start on flat rate. It is a bad idea to start somebody on flat rate. They don't have the time, the abilities to learn. They just don't. They come into the business on flat rate. It's just a bad idea. So I do really say that, you know, a starting technician should start on hourly salary, something like that, so they can learn and progress without stressing over their paycheck. Just a little, you know, side note, financially, are you prepared for those up and down? If you currently are you know, counting your dollar bills at the end of the week to get gas to get to work, you may have some issues going on flat rate. Because again, your paycheck's gonna go up and down. If you aren't managing enough, enough to have some savings for those bad weeks, you know, put some money aside. I stress that a lot, but put some money in the bank so you got a little nest egg in case you run short. You know, you have a couple bad weeks in a row, you, you're gonna stress out. You got some backup money and backup money to back up the backup money. You're gonna be fine, you're not gonna worry about it. You'll just go, I'll make it up on the next good week. Now, a couple little things, if you do go flat rate, when you have those high weeks, don't go getting a bunch of debt on the tool truck. I know you had a great week and you've got a, you know, you've got a couple great weeks behind you, that's when guys go on the tool truck and go, oh yeah, give me this, give me this, give me this. They're getting a lot of debt and then all of a sudden their check goes, Hoof! and they're like, oh, 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 um, can I pay you Tuesday for some tools today? Be careful. You know, when you go on flat rate, new shop, sometimes they're going to feed you a little extra, show you it's a good place to work. And your hours might be really good. You might get in a lot of debt and then your hours go to what they would normally be and you can't pay all your bills. So it's just something to be careful of. If you're considering going to a shop that pays flat rate and you're a beginning technician, well, hopefully you've got 
a good bit of time under your belt at a hourly salary shop, look at your efficiency. I can't stress that enough. If you're struggling to get over 100% efficiency on your jobs, you might want to look at things. Now, one little side note on that, when you're looking at numbers, remember, you're looking at book time and how well you come to meeting it or beating it. If you're struggling to beat that book time on most tickets, you're just not gonna be ready for flat rate. Wait a little longer, improve your skills, and you know, when the time's right, do it again, move on. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Comments are always appreciated, and as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.